point is I just want to um, uh, show some data about a very strong trend that is out there in the marketplace. The second thing I'd love to talk about is Hulu. Uh, I'd love to share a little bit about what we've been up to uh, since we launched on March 12th, share a little bit of data and, and a lot of response, which we look super upset about it. And then the last thing, which is um, uh, very relevant for folks here, is what that means for content owners. So I'll, I'll spend a good bit of time in terms of uh, what we've done and what we've learned uh, to hopefully benefit content owners. And so I'd like to talk about is a strong trend. Um, online video viewing over the last 24 months has more than tripled uh, in the United States. Online video ad spending has more than tripled as well uh, in the last 24 months and is project projected to grow very, very fast if you take a look at uh, these stats on the, on the screen. And then finally, uh, which is the segment uh, of the industry that Hulu operates in, uh, television consumption on the internet has more than tripled in the last 24 months as well. So there's something to put here. Um, and if you, if you step back and take a look at it, um, what you've got is you've got <coughs> overall video consumption more than tripling in the last 24 months. You've got overall online video advertising more than tripling in the last 24 months. And online television show consumption more than tripling in the last 24 months. So, so clearly, users are embracing media when it's made available on their terms. So um, the question that a lot of people ask, and I get a lot, is, well, okay, so I've got content. You know, how can I capitalize on A, this very big trend, and B, what Hulu is up to? Um, and it's, it's uh, you know, I, I thought what I'd do is I'd share what, what we've learned over the course of the private data testing period in addition to what we've seen in just the past month, very big returns. Uh, the first one is to have an attitude of being offensive rather than defensive. Um, the, um, you know, there, there's two ways that you can think about this, which is, to assume that uh, sort of the, the world will always be the way it is today. And the other is to recognize, wait a minute, where is the world going? Uh, and I need to adapt. Uh, I can tell you that people that think offensively, the latter, are doing much better. And I, I'll explain why here in just a little bit. The second thing I wanted to talk about was the recognition as a continenter that it might be possible uh, that not everybody in the world is going to beat a path to seek out their content today. Um, and, and I'm being facetious here, but it's very important. And, 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 and the content owners that we have on Hulu absolutely get this, and they absolutely think this way. Um, and I want to share some, some, some data around that. And then the last thing, which is um, for a number of reasons, including economic, is to be a part of you know, content owners that want to be a part of strong user experiences um, because they're seeing atypically strong returns in terms of advertising rates uh, and also atypically strong returns in terms of audience. And so let's just dig in real quick on, on each of these. So, and so, um, the second thing I want to talk about is sort of this notion that you know, the world will not be a path to your door for your content. Um, and this goes for whether you have the biggest show on television or something that uh, is still working its way to find its audience. And, and by this, by the easiest way to think about it is that you know, media um, is not like the clothing or shelter. You don't need it. Um, nobody needs it. And nobody is going to pass away if they don't watch The Office um, uh, at night. Um, they will still find a way to survive. Uh, and The Office is one of my favorite shows, so, uh, so it'll be painful to miss it, but, but, but I'd survive. Um, so when you realize that, you quickly come to the conclusion that this is an impulse business. Um, and impulse businesses, the predication of a successful impulse business, uh, has to be that you have to make it easy. You need to be relevant in a number of different environments, whether it be on MySpace, whether it be on Eugene Way's Reams of the Day uh, weblog, or whether it be at Hulu.com. And so, so this is a big learning that, that, that we've seen over the past several months. I want to make that point. So to so sort of end this in terms of the end card before going to Q&A, um, premium online video is absolutely a strong trend. It's one of the biggest trends I've ever seen in my life. Uh, when you look at things that are tripling in size in just 24 months, um, Hulu is very much capitalizing on that trend by a, a, you know, a top content selection, a top tier content selection, an atypically strong user experience, and a focus on very powerful distribution. Um, and then finally, offensive-minded content owners are the ones that are benefiting the most uh, uh, from this trend and from Hulu. Um, and, and, and I would say that uh, for those folks that own content at, at the NAB, um, that we would love to have conversations with you about how we can help. Um, you know, we have a very ambitious mission, as I said, and it's going to take a lifetime, if not longer. Um, but we'd love to, to continue on the trend that we're going on. Um, that would make us happier. So with that, I'd love to say thanks. Uh, and I'm happy to take questions. I think there's microphones uh, around, but, uh, but happy to take any questions. Uh, rude questions are welcome as well.